In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a jumbo Christmas stocking. Hang it up wherever you want and it makes a great holiday piece for your decor. Or just have fun with it. Do whatever you want with it. I love it because I get to tidy up the house with it and hang it and it still works as my holiday decorations. Anyway, download the free printable pattern and let's make it. Once you print out the pattern, you're gonna tape it together just like I'm showing you here. Refer to the top right number and put them in order. And yes, it's 20 pages long. And once it's taped together, cut it along the black solid line and you're ready to go. So to make the jumbo stocking, you're gonna need these three paper pattern pieces or these very large paper pattern pieces. And you'll be needing piece number one, the stocking body, piece number two, the stocking cuff, and piece number three, the stocking loop. Now we're gonna cut everything out of fabric. For this stocking, I'm gonna be using a knit with this pattern right here. And this is a very vintage, fabric actually and then a polyester for the cuff and for the interior I'm using a thick canvas it doesn't really matter which fabric you use for the interior but since this one has a little bit of a stretch what I want is an interior without stretch so that whatever I store in the stocking won't make the stocking stretch with pattern piece number one the stocking body we're going to cut four out and two pieces are going to be of the exterior of the stocking and two of the interior of course you can make your exterior and interior the same fabric so this is my exterior and they are right sides together and we're going to cut on the wrong side i'm going to be using pattern weights but you can hold down your pattern however you choose and let's start cutting I'm going to do the same exact thing with the lining fabric of my stocking. I'm going to use the pattern weights in the same way and cut it out. Cut out both of your exterior and interior stocking or the lining of the stocking. You're going to clip them or use straight bins and put them together. Remember, you're keeping them right sides together. What you do now to both the exterior and interior stockings is I am going to sew from the top here. I'm going to do a back stitch and I'm going to follow the entire outline using about a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around the stocking, all the way up to this opposite end and I'm going to leave the top of course open so I'm back stitching on both ends and I'm going to repeat the same sewing on the lining. I hope you're enjoying my tutorial. Can you believe that less than 10% of the viewers watching my videos and downloading my free patterns actually subscribe? I'm really trying to build a positive making community and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks! are both sewn together what you're going to do is take the exterior of the stocking and turn it right side out and once that is turned right side out you're going to take the interior piece or the lining and you're going to leave it wrong side out and you're going to stick it inside of the exterior piece functioning just as a liner as what it is so I'm just going to stick it right inside Going to bring it together so up to the top here what I'm gonna do is just clip the two seams together and then I'm gonna put my hands all the way to the end and make sure they all they both fit into each other okay here we go now I'm gonna just open it up and you can use two hands as well and just stretch it out and there we go. This is ready to go. And now what we're gonna do next, as these are lined up here, so we're just gonna pin them or clip the tops together just to hold it in place for a few seconds until we cut out the cuff. 
of this jumbo stocking. Now to cut out the stocking cuff, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the pattern onto the fabric that is folded right sides together. And the arrow here is reminding you that you're gonna place one edge, it really doesn't matter which edge, onto the fold of the fabric so that when you cut it out, it's double the width. So I will go ahead and cut it out after I lay down my weights. Here we go. Once you have the cuff cut out, you are going to fold it right sides together. And here on the shorter end, you're just gonna sew it together. So I'm gonna use about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and just sew this end closed. Edge sewn together, I'm gonna just turn the cuff right side out and set it aside for a quick moment as I cut out the last piece, number three, the stocking loop. What I'm gonna do now is take the loop right sides together and just sew it on the sewing machine and then turn the loop right side out. Now to turn this loop or casing right side out, I just stuck a um, safety pin on the edge and I'm just gonna feed it through the loop and pull it out the other end. Of course, if you know a better and quicker way to turn your loop around or this type of casing, you go ahead and use your way. All right, and here we go. You can give it a press once you have it all out, if you'd like. Since mine is a knit, I'm not going to. And now it is ready to go and to add to the stocking and the casing. Step is sewing these three pieces together and it's really simple to do. So what you're gonna do is take the cuff and you're gonna fold it through the inside. So the insides are together. So what I'm gonna do is keep the seam here together and bring together the other side so you form a loop with the good sides of the fabric looking at you. Even when you look on the inside of the cuff, it is the good side of the fabric or the right side of the fabric. And now just like this, held in place here where my seam is here, I'm gonna match it up to one of the seams on the side. So now I'm gonna put the loop, I'm gonna attach the loop where the heel of the stocking is. So that's this side. So what I'm going to do first is with the seam on the inside, I'm going to fold it in half and place it here on the inside of the stocking. And then I'm going to bring this side here, the seam, I'm going to bring them all together. So I got a, quite a few layers of fabric there. And I'm going to clip it. See why I use my clips? Love them. All right, and now I'm gonna bring all these fabric layers together. And I'm gonna work my way around, making sure all four, and there are four layers of fabric here, stay together as even as possible. And the last thing, maybe I said that before, but the really last thing is to sew all the way around the perimeter of this opening. And then we are really done. sewn this together you can serge the edges if you'd like if you have a serger you can zigzag you can even take your pinking shears and clean it up that way it's totally up to you how you finish it if you decide to finish it then you just fold your cuff over and there you have it your jumbo christmas santa stocking it is just so unique and awesome and the uses for this thing is really up to you so I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you really love stuff like this, why don't you check out my puppy and pet accessories sort of coordinating video and how to make that right up here. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.